What's going on everybody? It's Shiffle Penguin here, back with another video today. We're getting started on Act 2. Pretty solid starting, actually. Um, yeah, I was worried after Mervel wasn't, or after uh, Brutus was not being the easiest to kill, going to that two-button setup, prime. Really good for what we're trying to do. Really happy with that. But yeah, I'm excited for the Forbidden Right. We get this this um this act. I forget. I don't know exactly when. I'm assuming um Chamber Sins. I'm hoping Chamber Sins. I don't know exactly when it's gonna happen though. I know the requirement's 16, and we're getting there. We are getting there. So yeah. Um, pretty solid start. I don't know if I'm going to go straight mind over matter. I need to pick up a clarity. Per eh. I'm going mind over matter or pick up clarity. I don't. I'm assuming we go mind over matter. With these builds. But uh, I honestly want full juicer DPS so I might just not go mine over matter and we get that 10% mana whatever for nothing that Hierophant gets because I want this to just be a juicer bosser that's what I'm looking forward to like yeah defense is cool and stuff but if I can kill it 10% faster I'll, I won't mind dying a few times to be honest so we head to uh, the right first, which is Crossroads, and then we head directly up to Chamber of Sins. We do Chamber of Sins first, because uh, why not? Pretty excited for Forbidden Right. I'm pretty sure I don't get it on um, gem level ups, or uh, on uh, quest progress. So I'm gonna need. I um actually bought one on one of my other characters just to give it to myself. Kind of cheating, but uh, I want to use the skill ASAP. I don't want to wait till Act Three to be able to use it. Oh, that's some damage. All right, we're 14. We need two more levels, so I'm gonna be focusing. What, what monster area? This is 15. I can kind of clear man. more. What's up, Rog? I'm gonna get a Rog champ. <laughs> Wonder if anyone's made that an emote yet. I'm sure it's on a uh, better TTV or Frankers or whatever. So we're gonna grab this waypoint just so we can have it, and then we're gonna head down into the same. Chamber of Sins of level 2. Level 2 is going to have an Ascendancy. This is going to be your first one in Act 2. So good to know. There's two in Act 2. The second one, actually, we can get pretty early. Um, it's in the... What is it called? I forget exactly what the zone is called, but it's... Uh, it's directly... So we go crossroads down here. If you go down instead of up, you will actually end up getting the like there, there's a quest there the quest is uh doesn't give you a, a passive point so we always skip it but if it's your first time uh you do it for a trial and there's a trial of ascendancy right here i got pretty lucky this layout seems pretty clean for getting the trial on the path there sometimes it's kind of out of the way so yeah that happens more Essence, which I'm super down for. I'm flame dashing over him just to get that burning DPS going. Forgot the frost bomb. But yeah, essence are really good. That was a hatred essence, right? Oh uh, yeah. Oh shoot, there's a lot of spark things. So I should pay attention. That was uh, fear. We got a uh, anger. Yeah, hatred is for essence of hatred. Gives us cold damage, so we like those. Oh, we're not gonna level up to 15, even though we need to be 16. But that's fine. 
we got to fight the um I always forget this guy's name. What's his name? Fel F Meliodas. Feliodas. <laughs> I need to watch the new season actually. I just remembered speaking of that. The new season of uh, De Seven Deadly Sins came out like three weeks ago. I haven't had a chance to watch it yet. I'm actually watching um Why do we why are we full? We don't want that or that. We'll do that. I've been actually watching uh, Assassination Classroom. That's a it's a fun anime. So we don't want really any of these. Maybe Arcane Cloak. But I don't think any of these work with us. Make it Let's fast. sell some stuff. So I have no scrolls, so I'm, I guess I'll just vendor. Kills bad man. Travel far. So I'm gonna grab my these two, and we're gonna use them when we can. This is a mana flask. That's a greater mana flask as well. We'll sell both of those. Get our fragments. Get a scroll. Going. Uh, we talked to Silk actually. No. So we're getting there. Um, we're gonna go across roads again and kill Creighton because everyone kills Creighton. I haven't decided which one I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go mine over matter early. We want that scrolls of wisdom. I forgot that I was super low on scrolls. I think I'm gonna go up so I can get to the the. Um, totem nodes as fast as I can. Yeah, I'll do that. I am going crit on this. I was thinking about, um, I don't know, going non crit and juicer, but I think crit is the totally the way. I mean, you can't spec into elemental equilibrium, so you're like almost forced to go crit, I feel like. So just follow the path. You can grab the waypoint, but you'll never need to come back here anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But I hear some nutty stuff about Forbidden Right just doing an outrageous amount of damage the second you put it on. So we'll see about that. We're gonna kill him. He likes to dash around. He's kind of annoying. Dang, he's teleporting way more than I feel like he usually does. I was gonna portal, but I'm gonna man mode this. Yeah, man moding. Uh, I don't have a portal, right? Yeah, I don't have a portal still. So we're gonna keep doing the login trick to get some efficiency. Oh, you don't get anything from going there, so you just he head straight to the riverways now. We have to kill all three bandits to get our reward. Um, killing one at a time. Going back after one at a time does not do anything. Bloop, bloop. Oh, we need a scroll. So, I would I, I didn't pay attention. Uh, red, blue, green is our best, because I think... I'm pretty sure we want multiple projectiles. I saw... Like probably eighty percent of the builds, it was it was weird because I watched um, someone build it and talk about it, and they weren't using GMP or volley. I think most people are using volley, so it shotguns more often. But that person wasn't using volley, but like everyone on uh, Pee Ninja and stuff were using it. So I don't know. 
probably just have to test it out myself. Because, I mean, like, it, it's not every single one, but if, like, two more balls hit, like, that makes up for volley or GMP anyways. Only, like, two out of the extra four hit. So, yeah. So, we're going to do Oak. He's notoriously annoying, but let's actually see if we can level up. Uh, we'll spec our, yeah, straight up, straight up go over there as fast as possible. We're going to spec in Forbidden right to our Freezing Pulse. And... So it's like killing the totem really fast, which is fine because we're going to keep casting it. Um, is added lightning helping? Should I put on arcane? I'm going to keep on added lightning for now because added lightning is just such a good spell or such a good support gem. I don't need frost bomb really anymore, but I'm going to keep it on just for this fight. We need all that little extra DPS that we can get. Definitely need cast speed on this thing. It does a good chunk when it hits though. But cast speed is something we're a thousand percent gonna need on this build. But I don't mind it killing itself because like Recasting it isn't too much of a burden once we are, uh, uh what's it called? Ancestral bonding. It's not going to be too much of a problem. I must have time to gather my will. So it's clearing seems pretty like, I mean, it could be worse because it does add projectiles for every, uh, Every nearby person gets an extra projectile. That is a really neat idea for a gem. So if we can somehow, let's look at the vendors. We need a red, blue, green. I'll take it from anything. So if I can get volley on this, I think this will be insane. Hello. So let's see. Going. <laughs> Greetings. Nope. Oh, that's one that would be good. Goodbye. Let's go back to Act One and make sure. Cause I want to get Volley going ASAP. There was a red, blue, green. I think earlier. I know I have uh, Chrome recipeed some things. Oh, perfect. Um, I think we get rid of this one. That one had flame dash. We'll put that there. We'll put our uh, forbidden totem and our volley. And then we could put our our freezing pulse with added lightning. And uh, that's it because it's red. No, we'll do the blue, blue, blue now. Then we could put on uh, Arcane Surge. Seems good. Now we don't have anything linked with Frost Bomb, but it doesn't matter too much. If we have our Freezing Pulse attacking at the same time, Forbidden Riot, I think that's going to be more than enough. It looks a lot cooler with uh, LMP or LMV. <laughs> so I think the. I don't know if. It, it, I don't think it's going to matter with volley versus LMP, but I saw people using volley instead. So I think 
maybe the projectiles are closer because the main purpose so we got the waypoint on the left side here see how it's on the left side of the path right here so we're going to follow the left side of the path because that's what side the is going to be on by the way just want to make sure i explain that before i forget so now we go over here And we're gonna kill. Alir is like the only option you can go if you didn't want to kill all for whatever reason. But I always I kill all in like ninety percent of my builds nowadays. So maybe we want to scale a little bit of AOE on Forbidden Right so that so these little explosions are bigger. Because they're not, they could, they could be a lot better. But Ele uh, the volley is actually like, it's shotgunning pretty well. Do I have a portal? Yeah, I have a portal. I'll so you don't want to log because you have to walk all the way back and it's pretty annoying. So I'm going to portal so I can uh, keep my... Did I kill her? What? What happened? Did I bug? The King of Wealth. What's going on? Oh, I have to re-kill her now. That was a weird bug. I guess she does reset. I don't know. Dang, she's uh, attacking real fast. Why is she attacking so fast? She's avoiding hits. Is she chaos again? What the heck's going on? my game bug and now it's doing damage her shield oh no cuz I mean I get like, chaos damage depends okay I'm dumb she's attacking so fast and she's chilled this is weird maybe they buffed the Lyra more than I thought <laughs> So I would say Freezing Pulse Totem is stronger at this current point. I was hoping it would do more right now. But it's not not the worst. Blessed, daughter of God. He will show you what true friendship is. To show you what friendship is. It is pretty slow though. Like I was hoping it would hit more, but I need to scale totem life ASAP. That's uh, a lot of the damage. Is the totem's life. So we're going down here, killing the black guards. Maybe I want to grab like wither and spare and curse. And maybe that'll be good for now. So we're gonna grab that seal and place it on the wall. We have to go back to Act One to claim that ascendant or the, that uh, reward point. So we'll do that later. Man, I'm really hoping this totem. Thing all works out because uh, I love totem builds my first build well technically my first build in this game was in 3.0 scorching ray um, scorching ray and righteous fire um, and that was really fun that was like my very first intro to the game I didn't even get the maps I wasn't even using righteous fire <laughs> I was I was following a build to do it, but I didn't even get the map. Oh, no, I think I got the early maps, but I didn't get far at all. 
But yeah, I just remember using Scorching Ray for pretty much everything. And then uh, my my actual, I think it was 3.1, was the first time I got into maps. And I didn't kill Shaper or Elder or anything. Hello again, local. But I got to like late maps. Um, I sold fragments and stuff. That was the first time I started to trade. To and I was playing a Frost Bolt Totem. And if you guys haven't seen that build, it's so fun. It's really um, been outclassed by a lot of things, especially Freezing Pulse is just better in pretty much every way now. But uh, my friend calls it the Boba build. Um, if you guys don't know what Boba is, it's like a Vietnamese drink or whatever. And uh, it, the, the projectiles for Frostbolt looks like Boba. Oh, I love that build. So I think I understand why that guy didn't use Volley. It's because Volley doesn't help with the clearing. Because like, if you're shooting eight projectiles, adding three or four extra projectiles doesn't really help that much. But if you're shooting one projectile and you add that many, then it's insane. So maybe he was trying to be a more clear oriented build. Weaver half yet? Has Weaver disappeared yet? Nope, now it is. Yeah, definitely should have scaled life first. So make sure you guys are following the POB I put down because I'm not doing it perfect. I think I should have scaled min uh, totem life and damage ASAP. for the spike and we're gonna have this foil because we can just vendor it do I have any portals no I don't huh so we know what to do just do that quick log you know quick logs man all right now we can talk to Aramir get our two passive points what talk to want? him so we can vendor we'll ID anything rare so all the rares fizz over time that's cool don't want it physical damage fire that's like almost good <laughs> heavy belt that has 38 life yeah we're using that heavy belt now um i'm just gonna pocket all of this so i don't have to carry it around in my inventory anymore we're gonna do the uh, honesty game of where we're gonna say I assume I have about this much currency and I won't try to spend over that. <laughs> Alright, so we're almost at the minion, so I'm just going to beeline it. But this node's pretty good because you get life, 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 life and damage. So that node is our next priority. Oh, we got to talk to Silk. He's going to give us stuff that we don't necessarily want. Um, we don't want conch effect or controlled we don't want anything we'll have faster casting because maybe because maybe oh I forgot to grab a uh, portal gems or portal scrolls and scrolls of wisdom my bad oh also if you haven't by now go see this spot go to crossroads and go straight down and you'll go f through the fell shrine ruins I think it's called and then you'll go into the something something dark side and that's where you're gonna uh, find the second trial you're gonna want to make sure you do that I rec I'm recording well not back to back but I haven't uploaded my next video so I don't know if you guys said you guys wanted me to do the trial 
but I'll make sure at least I point out every trial I notice. If I'm not doing it, I'll tell you exactly where it is. And when to do it, pretty much. Like, oh, you should find it in here. If you don't find it in here, you go back to this point. That kind of thing. So I just want to hit levels because the next, like, four levels. So we want the total life one for sure. Let's see if we do any more damage. Don't notice. What does it say I'm doing? 72 DPS. Ooh. Pro speed. Pro speed makes that faster. Makes it cleaner. It looks cooler. We'll increase crit damage, sure. I think we are possibly using this gem at late game. Increase crit damage. So I might want to level this up. I can't put it on anything. Increase crit damage is actually um because they killed control destruction and we don't want to use conk effect. So that destroys like our like main damaging support gems so crit multi is kind of just like here still it's like hey use me please they buffed me I'm usable <laughs> so maybe I'll use that or crit strikes I'm not sure it depends on how much we crit we have usually I just uh, put my build into POB and then like hey which skill gem says is best and then I fall I use that one but you have to have no some knowledge. Like if it says cruelty is next best or something, you kind of like, heh. Inspiration, are the charges, is this a build that's gonna maintain inspiration charges? You need to think about that kind of stuff. So you kinda have to have some knowledge. You can't just like blindly pick what POB says. That's uh, same with like uh, some builds like, I mean Ice Spear. Um, a lot of people don't use, and I didn't either. I'm kind of just trusting what other people said so far. I haven't done full end game depth of checking, but Ice Spear you don't use GMP, um, because you use like Rain and Splinters and stuff. But also the more uh, projectiles you add, the more they're like, like if you have one projectile, it's always straight. Two projectiles is like kind of. If you add more, they're not really all gonna shotgun onto the target. So you're just like gonna your accuracy goes down. For all projectiles so it's just like a kind of uh, you got to figure out when it becomes enough because 99% of the time GMP is gonna, it's gonna anything with projectile that can shotgun GMP is gonna be your best friend or volley in this case Let's see what we get what stone one more and then we get nutty damage and I can take off frost bolt too our freezing pools because we can't damage anymore that note says we can't do damage ourselves anymore so freezing pulse will not do damage it'll still chill and freeze enemies which is cool which actually we might utilize with uh, we're gonna use, utilize with things like uh, uh, Arcanist brand it's not gonna do damage but we can put it on enemies so it could trigger like curses and other kind of things I'm liking these totems now. They're seeming seeming more solid. Two totems I'm really excited for. I want to level up ASAP. Don't want to die though. Hello again, local. What's up, Gwenin? So and I might have to buy a spell a totem MTX now because uh I'm gonna be playing this this league. I've been always thinking about buying, and I've, I can never decide which totem MTX is the best. You guys, leave a comment down below. What totem MTX my, it means microtransaction? So if you go to the store, um, you go to skill effect, you do totem, and it has to say um, not ballistica. It just has to say totem skill, not ancestral war chief. Like this book one was always the one I was gonna go for. Uh, I also like this one because it's purple. Keep in mind that purple is my favorite. So I'm between these three, really. I'm trying to decide which one I should buy. Probably, 
probably gonna buy the purple one to go with this purple uh, forbidden right but the, the the spell book one was always so cool I always like thought about getting it but then I was like I'm not playing a totem build this league and then thought about it again and I'm like oh it's next next league probably still not playing totems they kept going and going and going and then I only played Ice Spear Totem for like the last like month of one of the leagues. So was, I didn't do it early enough. Oh, we get our big boy node. We get two of them. We can put this on our right click. We take our left click off. We don't need Freezing Pulse on at all anymore. Now we're just totems. We are totems. I think the way is down, but I was killing these guys. I just want to use my totems, man. I'm actually hyped. Totems are so fun. It's just free damage. It's free damage. All right, get the waypoint. Just in case, you know. This one's uh, like, you don't need it, but it's just in case. So I'm curious if uh, I think multiple totem support is going to be really strong because so I think more totems is better than more support gems for this build because a lot of the damage is based off of uh, how much life is taken from the totem. So the way it works is uh, where's my, where's my thing? It's right here. So lobs near close and extra projectiles towards the enemy projectiles based on the life in ES. So it's five percent of your ES and twelve percent of life. Shield doesn't uh, it doesn't have any ES, so it's twelve percent of our life. And uh, yeah, so when we take that um, or when the totem takes that damage, um, it's just like converted to like flat added chaos, and it's a lot of flat added chaos. The more we scale. So we're going to want to get Cluster Jewels ASAP, that's Totem Life, and we want to stack those. Um, I saw someone not stacking, only using two of them and then using two projectile damage ones, which might be the play because uh, you can get more cast speed with the projectile Cluster Jewels. I'll have to check the DPS on them. I don't know if he did that because it was cheaper or if it was actually more DPS. I'll let you guys know because we don't do cluster jewels until we beat the story like you don't come on man if you can't beat the story without using cluster jewels what are you doing <laughs> I know it'll make the game bike go a lot faster so if that's really your, your goal and you have a lot of currency then sure but uh you sh you'll easily be able to beat the story without investing pretty much any money into your build it's also good practice so we're gonna need to get some more dexterity because we already can't level up our volley so I gotta pay attention to that we'll kill some extra enemies these totems are really like chill even though they're not cold <laughs> so uh, let's look up totem life this no it's crit with totems so this is their only totem life other than this note it looks like I just want to make sure. Okay, what is this? Totem life, resi all resistance, armor. Okay, so I don't think we can get all the way down here, but we might be specking this as our annoying. Maybe. We'll see. But yeah, we're going to travel down here now. I don't one two three one two three but we pass a dex node so we're gonna do this one so we get on here so we want this node reduced uh crits or not reduced crit well it's reduced crit damage but the main reason is reduced uh, curses on ourselves because when we use the unique chest armor soul mantle we want it'll apply a curse to us for every single um every single time our totem dies which is like all the time late game a um a curse will be applied to us so we're gonna have like eight curses on ourselves so that's gonna be pretty tough so the way to counteract that 
is to um, the way to counteract that is to what was I saying? Is to, to get curse mitigation. So you can get your yourself a uh, uh, what's it called? A series mirror. Uh, so you can't get cursed. You can get yourself uh, uh, I forget what the helmet's called. Most people use the helmet late game. We probably at will too. Or you can get two Kikazaru rings which will make yourself 80% reduced curse. But that's not 100% so we're still taking some curses. That's pretty bad you're going to say. But that extra node is 20% so that adds up to 100% curse um, effect. So curses will be on us but they'll have a 100% reduce effect. So this isn't um, super boss killing right now, but you know, it's a leveling build. I'll put it on top of him, so like maybe more of them will cast onto him. Cause look how far they're still going. Do a, no. I was gonna say these do a little uh, cold damage, right? Oh, the lasers. Gotta run around for the laser. His laser does a lot. It's like the only thing to really look out for. The creeping frost is like whatever, easy to dodge. The balls are extra easy to dodge. His slam hurts a lot, but it's so. Yeah. This boss is kind of free, honestly. His attacks are really easy to know. The rocks are probably the only thing that will kill you. Because the rocks will hit you. It'll do a decent amount of damage. It'll slow you and then he'll laser you. And that's the deadliest combo uh, Vault Over still has. Oh, he TP'd like at 1 HP. What a scaredy cat. I want my money back. Oh yeah, by the way, there's a crafting recipe right there. So grab that if you haven't. And that's the end of the act. Pretty solid act. You, um, you can log out right here and then log back in and it'll be like faster than this. So that's what, that's what you'll, you'll see people logging out. But that's the end of the act. Thank you guys so much for checking out this video. They always try to talk over me. Anyways, thank you guys for uh, checking out this video. See you guys in the next one.